The 45th edition of the Rolex Middle Sea Race commenced from Valletta, the Maltese capital last Saturday. An impressive international fleet of 112 yachts from 30 countries are contesting the revered annual 606 nautical mile, 1,122 kilometers, a race which comprises an anticlockwise circumnavigation of Sicily and counts the active volcanoes of Etna and Stromboli amongst its landmarks. The fastest maxi yachts, including Scallywag 100 and Black Jack 100, have their sights set on line honors as first boat to finish. The current monohull race record is the benchmark of 40 hours, 17 minutes and 50 seconds set in 2021. A celebrated yacht race famed for its stunning course, intense competition and challenging weather conditions. The Rolex Middle Sea Race. The spectacle of military pageantry only added to the sense of drama as the 45th edition of this iconic Mediterranean offshore race got underway today in Valletta's historic Grand Harbour. 112 yachts from 30 countries started to the firing of cannons, under the watchful scrutiny of organisers the Royal Malta Yacht Club. Back to defend the Rolex Middle Sea Race trophy as overall winner, last year's triumphant yacht Bullet. This year the Italian yacht faces challenges from across the international and predominantly Corinthian fleet. Amongst them, other former winners, including local favourites, Elusive 2. It's a challenge because you have to keep pushing if you want to do well, especially. And you never know what you're going to expect next. It's a beautiful race course and a beautiful race. Last to start, the impressive group of Maxes, including the two 100-foot entrants, Scallywag 100 and Blackjack 100. Their goal to lead the fleet in the quest for line honours. 606 nautical mile anti-clockwise circumnavigation of Sicily lies ahead. Join us again to see how the exciting race to be first back home into Malta unfolds. This is your weekly Global Sailing Highlights show, The World on Water, for October 25, 2024. Right on cue, San Francisco Bay rolled out the most demanding conditions for sailors at the 60th edition of the Rolex Big Boat Series, at the St. Francis Yacht Club. A steady 15 to 20 knots during the first race on Thursday continued to build through Sunday for pure thrills, and some spills, for the 70 boats competing. Challenging windward leeward courses allowed for ample tacking duels from the eastern end of the bay to outside the Golden Gate Bridge, with plenty of opportunities to upset the leaderboard during the downwinds to the finish line in front of spectators at the St. Francis Yacht Club. Love San Francisco, love Big Boat Series. This is my happy place. This is a fantastic regatta. The best weekend of the year. Racing across the finish line, being part of history. Can't find a more scenic view anywhere in the world. There's carlings, there's sea state, there's wildlife, and they have multiple courses they put us on. Big breeze, you know, 16, 18, averaging. And Excited about getting out there. Going fast. The Big Boat Series is really our signature event. It's the 60th edition of the Rolex Big Boat Series, and it's the best one yet. A lot of our members gear towards racing in the Big Boat Series. One of the only big major four-day regattas in the Bay. Over 70 boats, three race courses, more than 30 J105s, and strong OSC fleet. Uh, all year we plan for it. St. Francis is an incredible organization. The hospitality is first class as it usually is. It takes over 100 of club members and staff and volunteers to pull it off. Every day looking 
and helping us on the water, on shore, especially when we have weeks of planning and effort to put it on. In conjunction with Rolex and our other partners, really host the premier regatta on the West Coast. A huge regatta, great socials. They just support us in a way that no other sponsor ever has. As a member of the Yacht Club, it is so exciting to come down to the club and watch the Big Boat Series from the race deck. Very close finishes, spectacular wipeout. Sailing is changing. Rating rules are changing. The next generation is here, and they all want to be part of it. And Unique for the Big Boat Series is that we are using the whole bay around almost every mark, even outside the gate, and, and using the whole bay as a playground for our sailors. It's fun. It's serious. Fantastic place to sail in perfect time of year. That's why it's been going on for 60 years. You sailed Big Boat my whole life. That's our first Big Boat Series. I think I did my first one when I was 18. This has got to be like 13 or 14. This is my 20th Rolex Big Boat Series. Arriving in Malta at 0943.29, on Tuesday the 22nd of October, Huang Seng Lee's Scallywag 100, from Hong Kong, took the title completing the 606 nautical race course, in an elapsed time of 2 days, 21 hours, 33 minutes and 29 seconds. This followed an epic contest with Black Jack 100, of Monaco, who finished a little under 19 minutes later. As Scallywag 100 crossed the finish line, 78 yachts were still racing. There had been 33 official retirements. Drama, tenacity, and achievement, all in abundance at this year's Rolex Middle Sea Race. There were celebrations in Valletta today as Hong Kong yacht Scallywag 100 crossed the finish line at a time of two days, 21 hours, and 33 minutes to claim line honours. Their victory came after an incredibly close contest with fellow Maxi Blackjack 100 that saw them duel for the lead all the way to the finish line. Uh, it was like a 600 mile match race basically. We, we luffed them out at the start. Heart rate went down probably about 30 miles from the finish. You know, everyone was fully committed and a massive team effort. So to come here for our first effort and get a result is just uh, absolutely fantastic. The race produced particularly challenging conditions that included a punishing first night. And then the calm after the storm, as the leaders rounded strombly at first light. Scallywag, Blackjack and Lucky, all in each other's company. For the remainder of the 606 nautical mile race, the leadership regularly changed hands. And it wasn't until the final stages that Scallywag opened up an advantage that she guarded successfully to the finish line. And in so doing, set the handicap benchmark for the rest of the fleet to now beat. As the testing conditions are forecast to continue, we're set for an exciting finale. Join us again to see who will be the overall race winner on corrected time and claim the prized Rolex Middle Sea Race Trophy. In this episode, follow Boris on his journey as he arrives in the heart of the Vendee Globe.
After months of preparation and hard work, he's finally here and ready to meet everyone. Come join him at the race village, say hello, and get an exclusive look behind the scenes with Boris Herman and the entire Malizia crew. Like the queen. So today is the last day of sailing before the start of the Von Le Globe. We're on the way to the Sabdalun. Uh, it's just gone six, so we're on time for our dock off. We're hoping we're gonna have a nice little bit of wind out there. Sun's gonna come up in a few hours. 100 miles to sail today. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's been four years since the finish of the last Von Le. And it's been a long journey here, so it feels good to be on this final sail and hopefully we've got everything as ready as possible. And um, yeah, crazy how, how time flies when you're having fun, right? <laughs> We have to assemble in the sub three weeks prior to the start um, and the deadline is first thing tomorrow morning, it's being Friday morning. Uh, so we should arrive this evening and uh, be docked and ready for the grand opening. Um, but yeah, we're just doing a little bit of testing, just double checking all our systems and uh, yeah, confirming everything and putting the boat to bed in uh, the sub when we get there. We feel very good. Uh, we are happy. It's a bit the hand for us now, and uh, the, the work for Boris will start uh, in a few weeks. So, yeah, we are uh, we are pretty confident, and uh, we did all tests during this delivery, and presently uh, the checklist is uh, thick everywhere. Hello world, welcome to Les Sables de Lon, Los Sables de Solones in Espanol. So we're getting ready because the boat is arri arriving at the sun. So we, we are trying to prepare the, all the stuff of the technical team with this uh, super guy. Pirate, by your right hand. <laughs> yes, I'm the right hand. <laughs> Can you take the boom cover, please? Of course, Clément! That's a teamwork, that's a teamwork we like. So we finally just arrived here in the Sav de Lone, start of the Vendée Globe. The entrance of the, the famous channel is just over there. Um, had a good sail today, boat's feeling really nice, couldn't be more ready for the start of the Vendée Globe in a few weeks, so happy to bring the boat here uh, for Boris. And now we are going out to welcome the beautiful Malaysia tree. Like the queen. We are here in Le Sable de Lon in our docking space. So we are race ready and we are ready for the Vendée Globe. So the guys just did the transfer from Lorient to here and we are very excited. It's been four years since we were here last. So we're here at the inauguration of the Vendée Globe village. Uh, we're here with the other 40 skippers about to take the start of the Vendée Globe. And we're taking a look around some of the insights that the general public get to see about this race. 
and uh, we get to see what the Von der Globe race village is all about. So this is the museum of the Von der Globe. It's giving a bit of an insight to each of the skippers in the race. We'll go find Boris in a minute. And also it gives about some information about some of the history of the race and some of the major events that make it the Von der Globe and the famous race that it is today. Morning. How are you, everybody? Welcome to Sunny Le Sub. Another here for another exciting time. Good days. Packing up the boat. A couple of little jobs to do. Just tidying up, but uh, we're pretty good. Relaxing. Slow start. Easy. Yeah. yeah it's a nice way to be. That's our first day here. Today we will check the boat uh, after the delivery from Lorient. Uh, we will check everything. The rig the hull, the structure. A diver will come to check uh, uh, appendages so, and the hull. Um, and after that, uh, we will clean the boat because uh, uh, there will be a lot of uh, friends who will come to visit the boat. And uh, we want to show it in a very clean condition. Um, so all the team is uh, focused to check everything and be sure that uh, we haven't missed anything uh, before. Uh, before the start of the race. So yeah, please guys, come see us here in the race village. We have the boat here. We have lots of the team here over the next three weeks. And take a selfie, say hi to us. And uh, yeah, welcome. The three-day grand finale of the 11th Hellenic Match Racing Tour was completed with complete success at the Nautical Club of Greece, offering intense emotions both at sea and on land. The weather conditions were ideal for sailing, with a steady wind allowing the crews to show off their skills at a high level. The racing action got off to a strong start with five flights, where the teams adapted their strategy to the special conditions of the day. Καλημέρα σας, είμαστε στα ημιτελικά του τελικού του Ace of Marti 2024. Είμαστε πολύ χαρούμενοι που βρισκόμαστε στην τρίτη θέση. Σίγουρα έγιναν λάθη, αλλά πάμε σήμερα να δώσουμε τον καλύτερό μας αυτό. Για την καλύτερη θέση, πρώτη δεύτερη θα δούμε. Εντάξει, είμαστε πολύ χαρούμενοι αυτό το τρίμερο. Υπήρχαν σίγουρα κάποια λάθη. Είμαστε εδώ γιατί μαθαίνουμε. Ε, προσπαθούμε να περάσουμε από το στάδιο του ημιτελικού και να φτάσουμε στο τελικό. Για εμένα ήταν η πρώτη φορά σε, αυτή το, σε αυτόν τον αγώνα ε, και μου άρεσε πάρα πολύ αυτή η εμπειρία αυτέ τι μέρε. Και ανυπομονούμε πάρα πολύ για το πάρτι που θα γίνει μετά για να κλείσει ωραία το τρίμερο. Θα λέμε στην επανομή. Η μέρα τελικού σήμερα. Μέχρι στιγμή τα προκριματικά πήγαν αρκετά καλά. Ήταν μια καλή προπόνηση για εμά. Προσαρμοστήκαμε στο σκάφο. Πολύ σημαντικό, ναι. Συγχρονιστήκαμε και οι τρει μα. Ε, είμαστε έτοιμοι για την τελική ευθεία. Τώρα το πρωτάθλημα παραγράφεται και ξεκινάμε από την αρχή. Επιλέξαμε τον αντιπαλό μα. Κούρσα-κούρσα, βήμα-βήμα μέχρι το μεγάλο τελικό. Ελπίζουμε έτσι να πάνε όλα καλά κατευχήν και μετά έχουμε το πάρτι επάνω. Κάθε χρόνο περνάμε ωραία. Αλλά αυτό το θέλουμε να πανεγυρίσουμε και όλα με τους φίλους μας.
Italy's Alessandro Morega, is the early leader at the 2024 Fin Open, European Championship, at the Yacht Club de Cannes, after three great races in a building breeze. He won all three of his group races, to sit five points clear of France's Laurent Hay, with Valerian Lebrun, in third. There were 152 sailors from 22 nations taking part in the biggest Fin European Championship of all time. Racing is taking place in two groups over five days in Sarah Hauser, two times Aloha Classic Champion, 2023 Vice World Champion, and Maui Local, gives us the lowdown on her season and her predictions for the event forecast at Hoakipa Beach Park, Maui, Hawaii, US, from the 21st of October to the 1st of November. Sarah, we're back at the Aloha Classic. How are you feeling? Uh, super excited. Stoked to have everyone in town for another Aloha Classic. And talk me through your year in general. Well, so it started in Japan for me, uh, and then Chile. It uh, was not my best result in Chile, but it was so cool because Japan and Chile were two events I'd never been to before. Then I went to Peru. That's an event where I've been to before. We had light wind conditions, it was super tricky, but I managed to get the second place. And now Maui, so yeah, it's going to be my fourth event. You're in a lower classic winner. Do you think that helps in a week like this? For sure it does, because experience on the place, on the location, always does. But at the same time, Hokipa has so many different faces, depending on the forecast, it can change. And right now we're looking at a very, very weird forecast with a hurricane coming from the east and bringing east swell. So that's not something I saw a lot in the last 11 years I've spent on Maui. So I'm curious uh, to, to experience that with everyone else. Good luck. Thank you.